35 years an art dealer and you get to know some artists and to become really attached to them more than others. And one painter who I'm particularly connected to is the painter of this unknown portrait of a young man. The artist is Mary Beale. And Mary Beale was an astonishing figure. In a man's world, she managed to carve out for herself in the latter years of the 17th century a portrait practice. And one of the reasons I think that she was so successful was her characterization. And you can almost reflect back on the character of the artist through some faces. If you compare this man's physiognomy, and what is he? He's probably in his 30s. And you compare it to a Lily, you see there's a sort of softness, um, a, a sort of empathy with the subject, which I can't help feeling derives from many, many paintings she did of her own family and her children. And there is a sort of intimacy, an almost instant intimacy that you get with the subjects. Also, when you compare it to a Lily as well, you see the full lips. That's one of her characteristics. And that lovely sort of slightly terracotta tone uh, in the cheeks. And I've got to know her so well that sometimes when I walk into a room and one's 30, 40 metres away at the end of an auction house or a stately home, it instantly beckons me. Over the years, we have handled, and it's been a privilege to do so, many of Mary Beale's paintings, so much so that as a gallery, we felt that we ought to give something back. And a decade or two ago now, we restored and replaced the plaque, her memorial plaque in St. James's Church, Piccadilly, just around the corner, that was destroyed uh, during bombing, uh, bombing raid during the Second World War. Given that we're putting together an exhibit of works by female artists, British female artists, there is no better place to start than with a typical and beautifully burnished face by Mary Beale.